corner. That's what we talking about. Watch what I turn this into. that out and now we're really gonna flip it. Anything, they'll look at me like, no. Yeah. Why the fuck are you talking? You know? 
You're so, saying you feel that way towards me too? I feel that towards everyone. Just because I'm insecure, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like I get looked at as a pretty face, and that's it. Like people look at like I, if I'm talentless. So it's like, mm. you know, I have to like do that. That's why I started DJing too. Because it's like, all right, y'all only think I can model. I'm just gonna pick this shit up and become the best at it. And I'm just gonna do this and shit for not even a year. You have. And show y'all like it's that easy. You know, if you really like dedicate your shit to it yeah like even with doing this even asking to do a documentary even asking for film to show people like damn really this kid has a whole another level of thinking and it goes back to what we've been talking about you just have to do it Honestly. so many people get caught up on oh i need to do this first i need to have this is set i need to no dude you mm -hmm. need to show up and do it and then it will be whatever it's supposed mm -hmm. to be and like, dion i don't know if y'all know dion dion be around but he's a vince seller he was the one that really told me like you got a network and it'll change your life. Your network, this shit is so easy. That is a fact, though. And I took that shit to AT and I took that shit overboard, you know? And that's like basically. Is that working? Yeah, like I, everywhere I go. Like before, like, I kind of slowed down on it because now I'm working on bigger shit. But like before, like I could not go to no clubs, no bars, no events if I did not leave with 10 Instagram, 10 new Instagrams. Now I'll just be in the club, like, oh, I like your shoes. Oh, thank you, bro. Oh, yeah, Instagram. Like you, you made yourself like homework assignments. So. Yeah, like yeah, I had to, ha I have to leave with ten Instagram followers. What's your take on the veil? Cause I, I'm still. I know you, you're from here. Mm -hmm. I'm just, it's, I'm just trying to figure it out. And in what sense? More than just a college town. What the fuck is it? I don't know what it is. I think the creative headquarters, bro. You think so? Yeah, cause it's like being from Deltona and like pretty much Orlando. Ain't nobody trying to work with you. Like, it's a big city, though. Yeah, you know, and it's like nah, like I'm not gonna teach you how to DJ or nah, I'm not it's gonna like. First, then you're trying to gatekeep. Yeah. yeah, it's gatekeeping as fuck. Now I can see it like kind of opening up more, cause now I'm about to like really try to tap into Orlando and like fuck shit up over there as well. As soon as I got here, people are trying to work. People are trying to like like us right now. We're trying to work. You know, Papo every Wednesday is letting myself just go in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody does that. When did you come to Gainesville? Uh, I got to Gainesville right before COVID. So, like... Oh, yes. I got Because Gainesville mm -hmm. before the pandemic and Gainesville after the pandemic. It was two completely shifted. different worlds. Yeah. I can see that, too. Because, like, when I was coming here, it was just the clubs. Like you were saying that it still is in most other places, uh us versus them uh, scarcity mentality of like, I can't help you win because I gotta get it all. You know exactly. what I mean? And like after the pandemic, I think people who are already creatively inclined were like, I don't care about any of that. I just want to get this out. And then people who may not have had any sort of outlet were tired of being in the house. So they're like, I see them doing this. I want to just hop on. I think everybody was just kind of on that momentum of just like all of this like pent up energy. I also think my perception of Gainesville is getting harder to quantify because I'm taking a larger role in sculpting it. Before it was very much, I was just an outsider observer and now I'm recognizing that I have too much influence to be just observing. This scene, whatever, like whatever you guys are talking about that Gainesville has, it's not just something that Gainesville has, it's something that we have all built. Yeah, like yeah. we are currently building it. Mm -hmm. So it's just one of those things that it's hard for me to say what it is when we're in the middle of the masterpiece. You know what I mean? Like we're too close to the canvas to be able uh, to you guys, you guys see better. what's going on. But and it, and it comes in waves. Yeah. And it comes 100%. in waves because like the DJ scene wasn't with, like half the DJs now was not DJ. I've been studying everybody since like day when I got here. So like it was Jake and Roth. Yeah. hundred percent. Jake yeah. and Roth. I know the first two that guy. Like every event. Every event went from like that, then then you saw Christina. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You see Christina like was popping off and then you saw Sov was popping off and then now you got Eden. Yeah, um, no, I was you gonna, once you and Day started it. DJing, it like DJing was a like thing it to be. Yeah. Right? So that's like my idea what was it when I called Day. It was like, yo, let's DJ. Cause I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's getting dry. Cause like Modeling was also dry, mm -hmm. you know? That's why like, I kind of like stepped away from modeling because I did what I had to do as a model. When I got here, the first thing I told my ex-girl was, um, I'm gonna be on all these magazines. I don't even go to this fucking school. 
but I'm gonna be in all these magazines. And I told Casey's girlfriend, because uh, Casey's girlfriend used to work at Be Unlimited mm-hmm. and gave me an opportunity to, mm-hmm, to give me an opportunity to create a direct um, a shoot for them. She showed me Strike. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I saw that, I went home and told my girls I'm gonna be the cover of this shit. And that was two years prior before yeah. I got it. So once I got, like once I made Rowdy, once I got on Strike, I was like, but modeling, I'm good. And then the fashion shows was like a high idea. Also that I had a day. We were smoking and I was high as fuck and I was like, you know what crazy? <laughs> this is the original thought. I was like, what about we did a fashion show? And it'd be you, myself, Noah, Liv, Christina. And it's like a competition in a sense. Like mm-hmm. we make this shit like a show, like basically like America's Got Talent. Like who's the flyers type shit. Like we do like a whole like sit down. We have models come in, we pick five models, we deck out these five models and then we do it in the show like that. Mm-hmm. But then like, I brought it up to Layla, like literally like, two days after. And Layla's like, oh, I've been wanting to do a fashion show. I've been wanting to do a fashion show for the longest. So I was like, let's do this shit. So then when it came to that, I was like, okay, instead of making it, this shit kind of like a show, let's like make a fashion show. Let's actually like, yeah. do Is a show. Yeah, you added it all to the black parties? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then that happened and then that shit became like a hit. Yeah. You know? And then that was like a wave. So like I realize like I do have like power like I, I see like I'm very good. you know what I'm talking that's about. why I like yeah. Diddy, yeah that's why I like Diddy so much like Diddy sees shit before like mm-hmm. he could just look at someone and be like boom I know? feel like I feel it yeah, more feel than it? more than see it you know what I mean mm-hmm. like I just see like I just say shit beforehand bro and this shit just happened like, DJing like not even having no DJ experience at all bro and like so I'm self taught I've never watched a YouTube video like even just taught me how to do the dials like lows mids and highs what they mean what they do. Yeah. And like that shit just took me to a whole nother level in DJing. That's why I do the one on ones. Like I hang out with somebody or like if I work with somebody, I that's don't the, just work with that's them. That's the best way to learn. Yeah, that. like people would just be like, oh yeah, we're gonna work on this, you're gonna come through, we're gonna shoot, and that's it. Like no, like I'm gonna hang out with you. Yeah. I wanna know about you. Like Dale, like that's how me and Dale linked up. Like I was like, I wanna hang out with you. Yeah. You know? And then you just learn more about it and then you also like understand the vision more. And then yeah. you can also like you know what I'm saying, you just to it to the T. Because I, I didn't know how to model 444 four, four, and what it meant, I would model that shit way different. Yeah. But that's like, true. I see Dale's personality, I see why the clothes look like. You see like where that. it comes from. I yeah. like know where to dive into that realm. There's a bunch of talent in the city, bro. That's one, that's one thing I do, uh, I've been looking at. Because you know, you're right, I'm from Palm Beach. There's, there's a lot of people in Palm Beach, but just like Orlando, everything spread it out. Mm-hmm. Here, everything in Gainesville is like. In Gainesville, you can't do shit without us knowing. Like, if someone just pulled up, like Angel, like Angel's a perfect example. Like, Angel's a perfect example. Once Angel, like, really taps in and he does his podcast shit, then everyone's gonna be like, oh shit. You know, everyone will know that. Yeah. Everyone will see that. Like, you can't do some shit here and not be on watch. What was it? What is it missing? What do you see? You able to see? People need a lot to fuck in. Yeah? Yeah, bro. People need to lock the fuck in. I feel like people are comfortable, bro. If you said lock the fuck in, like, lock the, like the fuck in something like within yourself, within the, like... Within yourself, bro, you gotta be the best, bro. Like, just get that, with me that DJing album. right now, like, me DJing, like, I know I'm five. Like, people thought I was five at the fucking Halloween market. And type, I was ass. But, like, no one would think I was ass. But, like, realistically, I was ass compared to, like, this last market. So, like, I feel like... I feel like a lot of people do, like, right now, I could just be comfortable and be like, mm, you know, I should just stay playing like this because people fuck with it. Nah, like, I'm finna keep putting pressure on these other DJs, on myself. And you wanna be the best, you gotta, like, you gotta believe you're the best. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't be like, oh, I'm not, I'm not that good. You have to say it before it's yeah, true. Yeah, like, I'm not that good. I'm not, I'm not gonna get better than Roth. I'm not gonna get better than Jake or Papa or Dan. Yeah. Nah, like, it's you know crazy because like, our thoughts and words are that powerful. Yeah. yeah. That this shit could go up and we out of here. Yeah, you know I might fuck around and start my lip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I'm hottest in the start of tier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know they put me in that tier list. Yeah, you know I promise, man, I do this shit it's fearless. Yeah, you know I promise one day you just gonna hear this and be like, damn, that's a kid from the three, bitch. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you know I'm with the gang. Yeah, they know the shit was up. Wait, wait, wait. Baby girl, I gotta shoot, but I'm make sure that my hair is straight Wait, wait, wait I don't know what you gon' call this, but you know
on this shit no damn day. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, tell your ass and you know this shit. Might have call up on top of you just to tell me what's the update. Wait, wait, wait. I might pull up scared of your hobby just to show me how to damn skate. Wait, wait, wait. Shit, wait up for last call cause you know this shit get up. Wait, wait, wait. Do this shit okay? Do that shit I shoot shots like clay up in the bay. Chillin' with your bae and she got wet like a lake. And I'm rolling all my games and I'm smoking to the face. Wait, 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 wait. I've been smoking way too much. You gotta make sure that my hair is straight. Cause I pull up to the shoot and I keep smelling like damn thing. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you know I got cologne, so hopefully I sit straight, <laughs> straight, straight, straight. Uh, uh, man. Uh, do this shit for three with some love. Now you know I'm smoking way too much of all these drugs. Uh, but you never should. Mm, now they're never gonna stop. Got the shit hitting bottom like the shit with the rock. And you know I'm going dug to the top. Get your bitch on my line, yo, what's up? Got it on my line, man. What's up, man? I look comfy. Pull up to your shorty, cause you know I'm looking lovely. And now you know she wanna come over, she tryna fuck me. She tryna go and hug me, she tryna go and bump me. She calling me too much, I think she really starting to bump me. Wait.